In this section of Stump Healthy video, we're going to hear from a pharmacist. A Stump LD is about medicines. I think it's important we get the view of someone who knows all about them. Hello Zafran, can you tell me about your job? Hello Daniel, I am the lead pharmacist for an area of Derbyshire. That means that I work with a lot of GP practices around the management and policies of medicines. This includes safe use of medicines. What do you know about Stump LD? The Royal Pharmaceutical Society has played a big role in campaigning against over-medicating people with learning disabilities. I know what doctors can do now and how carers in the learning disability service can help. What can you do? Members of my team are helping our doctors know which people on their learning disability register are taking psychotropic medicines. We look at medicine use in doctors' practices regularly and this is something we have been able to add into our work. Don't we doctors know who is taking the medicine already? They have the information in their computer systems but they have thousands of patients. We make it easier for them to have a list of patients that need reviews. We can also check when the medicine was first started and who the prescriber is. What do you mean by prescriber? The prescriber is a doctor or nurse who has been specially trained to write a prescription to allow the pharmacist to give the patient medicines. You can't get these medicines from the pharmacy without the prescription. What do you do with the prescription? We give the medicine to the patient, but first we check that it's okay and that the right medicine has been given and is suitable for them. We advise patients about medicines, including how to take them, what reactions may occur, and answering patients' questions. How can pharmacists help the patients with stomp medicines? I've already mentioned that we can help to identify which patients are taking psychotropic medicines and need a review. With the actual prescriptions, we can check if there are any interactions between different medicines and advise the GP which to change first. Other people have told me about easy read information. Do you know about that? Yes, we have links to websites that have easy read leaflets about the medicines. We can create larger labels for the medicine and give the instructions in an easy way. We can also provide information about how to monitor the medication and what to look for. I've been to see the Special Learning Disability Service. They are in part four of the video. Would you ask for their help? Yes, there are teams of specialists in each area that we can refer to for extra help for our patients. There are also learning disability services that help other services like ours to, to look at the way we work and adapt our services to better meet the needs of patients with learning disabilities. Is there anything else that you would like to say to other pharmacists? Medication is useful, but should be something that is given after other options have been tried. Let's make psychotropic medication a last resort where there is no true diagnosis of a mental health condition. So, to summarise, use the top tips for pharmacists, make medication the last resort.